Welcome to the Factor Tree app. This video will show you how to do the Factor Tree exercise and the first lesson in divisibility. Just watch this example, then I will explain what to do. There, we've finished the factor tree. The divisibility rules are simple. Just check the units digit. If it is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then it is divisible by 2. If it is 0 or 5, then it is divisible by 5. Finally, if it is 0, then it is divisible by 10. The factor tree is complete when all the leaves are prime. Prime numbers are only divisible by 1 and itself. Numbers that are not prime are composite. Because auto divide is on for this lesson, all you have to do is recognize which factor to use. Let's try a problem. The number that we are trying to factor is 250. 250 is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. So we can enter any of those factors. Let's enter 2. It has calculated the other factor as 125 for us. Now we must choose a node that is composite. 125 is composite. 125 ends in 5. Therefore, it is only divisible by 5. Let's enter 5. 25 is composite, so let's choose that node. 25 ends in 5, so it is divisible by 5. Let's enter 5. The factor tree is now complete. Now we must enter the prime factorization. The prime factorization is <coughs> entered from lowest prime factor to greatest prime factor. The lowest prime factor here is 2. 2 occurs once, so let's enter 1 for the exponent. The next prime factor is 5. It occurs 3 times, so we'll enter 3 as the exponent. <clears throat> this factor tree is complete. The prime factorization is complete. Notice how this factor tree is lopsided. Once you start mastering these exercises, you can try picking factors that have an equal number of prime factors. This will result in a balanced factor tree. A balanced factor tree is an important concept in computing science because search algorithms perform fastest when trees are balanced. Now it's your turn to get some practice.